It is a privilege to be able to share with you one of the greatest concerns that's on my heart in these days. As I look back at 58 years of following Jesus, I have so much to thank God for. But I have to be honest also about the mistakes I made. And as I look back, I think the greatest mistake I made for at least uh, 40 years was the failure to do more about the unborn and to study that more. Of course, I didn't believe in abortion, but then I was overwhelmed when someone said it's all too complicated here in Europe to really say much and do much. I thank God for Dr. Francis Schaeffer, but confess that as he got so strong about this, I felt maybe he got extreme because, of course, I was so committed to world evangelism and preaching the gospel. But I'm thankful for his patience in that maybe 10 or 15 years ago, I began to see that these areas of social concern and social action and justice and, and the rights, human rights, including the rights of the unborn, are very important and are greatly emphasized in the scripture. And I was just reading again about Dr. Martin Luther King and how because of his concern for justice, he brought about and led the end of, a, of, of a segregation there in the United States, which happened during, of course, my lifetime. And I just thank the Lord for Randy Alcorn and his book, Why Pro-Life. And anybody who watches this or hears this, I'd love to send you some of those as a gift. I realized about 10 years ago that this is a major issue and that this is really wrong, that these little ones in places like India, their lives are taken, unborn, simply because they're a girl. And I've had the privilege now as I made a commitment to this, of speaking about it <clears throat> all over the world. And sometimes in Christian meetings and churches where this isn't mentioned. And it's, it's sad that we're, we're often afraid to talk about this. Even a pro-choice, very liberal woman wrote an article that I read saying, we need to keep talking. We need to keep talking. And many, I believe today, pro, uh, so-called pro-choice people are acknowledging this has gone too far. This is out of control. I feel so limited in what I can do, but through our ships, through our publishing houses, through our network, 160,000 have been on Operation Mobilization. Uh, I've been out of the leadership of that movement now for 10 years. I feel God wants me to flood this message out throughout the world when I speak at meetings and through these books and literature that I make available on my book tables. And often, Why Pro-Life, we give it completely free of charge. In answer to prayer, we push that book into many more languages. The author, Randy Alcorn, and I have become very close associates. He's sort of one of my mentors because I had so much to learn, so much to catch up on in this great global movement. So thank you for taking the time to listen to this. And I'd love to hear from you and send you a copy of Why Pro-Life. I could send some of my other books as well. And uh, let's attempt to do more, a lot more, for the sake of those whose lives are taken in what should be the safest place in the world is now proving to often be a dangerous place. God bless you and I look forward to hearing from you.